What's up? Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. First of all, if you're one of my neighbors and you're watching this, then I apologize for the startup that I'm about to do because it is 10 to 5 in the morning. Oops! Ah! Go, go, go. Good morning, everybody. We are about to fly to Paris. I'm going to be joining up with Tag Hoyer who are supporting the Porsche team at the 24 Hours of Le Mans, the legendary race. So it's kind of convenient that I am in the Porsche right now. I'm not driving all the way to Paris. I am just driving to the airport. It is not as warm in Paris as in, uh, in the south. Wait, wait. Look at this beautiful castle, chateau basically, that Tag have organized for us. I've put my Tag cap on, I've got my accreditation, and now we're on our way to the track, and we'll see what the next steps are. We've got a whole program going, and I just kind of want to bring you guys along for all of it. Guys, we just arrived at the Porsche Experience Center, and look at this. Take your pick, what are you up for? You want a Carrera, you want a GT3 RS, you want a 992? I'm about to be able to drive a 911 on the track as one of the sessions between the race cars. This is insane. Crazy Sport Plus manual. This is incredible. I can't believe I'm driving the track on race weekend. Whoa -ho -ho -ho! Yes, yes, yes. I'm in a Carrera with a Carrera on my wrist doing 250 kilometers an hour. This is unbelievable. I never thought I'd be lucky enough to do this. We're going super easy. I mean, we're not here to do any lap records. This is purely just fun to discover the track. I don't know what to say. I mean, the track, it's, it's, it's different to all the video games. I'll tell you that. I don't think my brain, so my brain is obviously recognizing all of this from the video games, but I don't think it's quite realized that this is what we're doing in real life yet. I think this is gonna take some time to register. <laughs> The car feels really nicely balanced. We're in the rear wheel drive Carrera S. I mean, it's a 911. Crazy that this is like a great daily driver, yet you can kind of blast it around the track like this. Someone pinch me quickly. This can't be real. I can feel my phone ringing in my pocket. I don't know who it is, but I'm so sorry. This is not the right time at all. Currently doing 260 on the Le Mans track. The walls are really not that far away. All of a sudden, they feel closer in real than they did on the video games, I can tell you that. Do you put your indicator on when you're driving at Le Mans? I don't know. Indicator feels kind of irrelevant now. Uh, well, yeah, uh, I would say that was one of the craziest things I've ever done. Welcome to the mall, guys. Whoa. Look, it's like a huge kind of Lego piece, guys. They're all, all the different parts of the cars are kind of attached with these clips. You see on the front bumper, on the rear bumper as well, and everything is carbon. Every last piece of the car is completely carbon fiber. And it's beautiful carbon as well. Look at that weave. So cool to see this. And welcome back to my face and a helmet. Hi, it's not the most comfortable thing, but it means we can go back out on track. But with a professional driver this time, this is going to be pretty special. And it's going to show me what I should have done. It's 
myself. I said, oh. This all wrong. straight these straights on this track feel so long they feel like they never end but so satisfying the activities are not ending it is day two now and we are kicking off today with a road trip look at the amount of cayennes and mccann's that are behind me right now still no idea where where we're going there was a secret well kept by this man right here and we have no clue anyways, we're leaving the castle and off we go. Thank you. Okay, I think I know where we are. I think we are at the first chicane of the Molzan Strait. Now then. Merci. Let's see, let's explore. One of the biggest braking zones in front of the first chicane of the Molzan Strait. When the cars start coming around, this is going to be impressive. <laughs> Unreal. And oh. the Porsche. If you know your Le Mans track from video games, you'll know that we were on the first chicane just then, and then now I've just been told we're going to Indianapolis, a legendary corner. You really have to off-road to get to the different perspectives of the track. You're 13 kilometers long the track, so you're kind of going between the forests to get the different views. I think we're arriving now, but it's a good thing we're in the 4x4. So. Guys, look at this! Whoa! Look, look, look! This is wow! Unbelievable. Wow. Apparently this is a spot which is pretty tricky because you come out of a long right-hander and then into this tight left-hander and you can lose the rear end of the car in this big braking zone. And a lot of the cars will lose control and end up in the tire wall right there. Like one of the Porsches actually, which, uh, which did that yesterday. Car number 92. So a really tricky spot, but such a legendary corner to see. Guys, it is now grid walk time. Look, Turbo S, kind of like, kind of like my one. Look at that. Woo! Anyways, this is gonna be, can you feel the atmosphere? Everyone's getting ready for the start. A huge thank you, of course, to all the marshals. Pretty special and pretty brave job to have. right up next to the cars changing the tires awesome guys we're now heading back we're going to be watching the race from the Porsche Experience Center yeah I can't wait I know I've been just saying oh this is sick this is amazing this is incredible I'm running out of words it's just every step of this of these couple of days it just gets better and better and it's all kind of a surprise all right we're running to the grid because we're gonna watch it from the grandstands and apparently we're pretty late I think it's starting in like five minutes oh it's all kicking off So during the race, there was so much noise that you basically couldn't hear what I was saying on my little camera. So I'm gonna do this as voiceover. We watched the beginning of the race from those grandstands. It was pretty spectacular because it was a wet surface at the start, but it was even more special afterwards because we were even able to go into the Porsche garage during the race. You know, it was obviously a pretty tense environment, but everyone looked pretty confident. They're passing from the wet tires to the slick tires, guys. This is gonna be insane. I was also lucky enough to meet Patrick Dempsey right after that. You know, the actor who's also now uh, running his own race team, Dempsey Proton Racing. Uh, that's probably gonna be another video which I'll put up soon on the channel if I manage to recuperate the sound. Guys, this is where the real magic starts. It's a surreal moment now with the sun going down. Such a good spot here at the Porsche Experience Center. You see the straight, you see the last chicane, the Porsche isn't. 
Excited to see this, and we're going to be able to go back to Indianapolis and back to the chicane on the street normally later on. Oh, this is amazing! Again, this time at night. I'm curious to see are people still up? Are they still going? Are they resting? What's going on? When do these people sleep? We then went back to the Porsche garage where it was still pretty tense but a bit more relaxed because half of the team were trying to get a little bit of rest but with the cars going around it's not too easy. And then later on through the evening it was just full spectator mode taking in the cars going by at night with those glowing discs, the flames coming out the exhaust. It was really special. Is that focused? Anyway, it's all I have to do. Look at this. It's past midnight. Can you believe this? It's this only in Le Mans, basically. I mean, this is insane. But you can get this close to the track at this time, and why is this not focusing? Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. But you can get this close to the track at this time, and, and just hear the cars, see the brakes, and the brake pads kind of lighting up. I mean, I'm tired, and. I'm not on track, imagine these guys. And we're not even halfway through the race, that's what's crazy. And it's the middle of the night. Yeah, it's, this is nuts. Good morning! Look at how we're getting to the track. For a little visit of the tire storage area so obviously so many tires during a race like this and it was really cool to be able to be, be let in to see that do you reckon they'll notice if i uh, if i take a a set of tires for the for the cars back at home probably not but what i will tell you is how impressive it is the amount of tires that they've got here and it's pretty much empty now they were telling us because there's only four hours of racing left and also the practice sessions are done all the qualifying but if you think about every team is changing tires let's say every two hours full set of tires they need enough to do that with the slicks and for the wet tires which are over there during practice during qualifying during race every team pretty impressive anyway it's cool to see kind of behind the scenes here and even though this is pretty empty it's still a ton of time guys even though i'm feeling tired these guys are not feeling tired they're still going there's only about an hour left Day three here at Le Mans. Decided to bring it along for every single last detail, kind of. But unfortunately, one of the details got that Corvette is so loud. One of the main details, which is the end of the race, we're not going to be able to see. Because in order to make it home in time, I'm going to need to get a flight back an hour before the end of the race. So, 
yeah, it is what it is. I think we've seen plenty of 23 hours of racing non-stop. It's surreal. If ever you have the opportunity to make it out here, uh, please, please, please take that opportunity because it's such a special event. And for me being able to be here um, alongside, you know, Tag Heuer supporting the Porsche team is a real honor because they're two such legendary brands which represent excellence in every way. So to be able to have been given the uh, the privilege of representing them here uh, has been really special for me. So thank you, you know, to, to, to them, to Tag, uh, to Porsche and to you watching this video. And if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me. And I think this is uh, the perfect time to sign off with the cars going around the track in the background. Thanks as always, and uh, I'll see you very, very soon. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.